12 runners are ready. They're off for the Caminato Plate Division 2. Losing considerable grounds at the start, there was Golden Starlet on settling down its mighty swallow in the center from Debonair towards the inner railing, just in behind that is Desert Dragon. Bold Act is racing wide, followed next by Striking Eyes, another two lengths behind as Dynamic Force. Greenwich is in the center, the welcome is racing wide, followed next in the field by Smile of Beauty, another five lengths behind, we've got the other runners of Golden Starlet who's trailing the field as the field of 12 runners enter the home straight. Around the bend they go with 500 to travel as Debonair. Debonair opens up to Mighty Swallow. Another two lengths behind is Dynamic Force. 350 meters to travel. Debonair is out in front. Mighty Swallow is racing second. Another three quarters of a length behind coming up with a good run as Dynamic Force. Followed next in the field by Greenwich. It's Debonair. And here's Dynamic Force now tackled on the outside by Greenwich. It's Dynamic Force and Greenwich. Greenwich on the outside is over three quarters of a length in front of Dynamic Force. Mighty Swallow has finished third. Followed next in the field by the other runners of Bold Act. Followed by Debonair, Striking Eyes, Golden Starlet. Then came Smile of Beauty, The Welcome, followed next by The Whisper Quietly as the cross the winning post and Desert Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the ninth race of the day. The Camino to Play Division 2, which was won by Greenwich. We have the winning trainer, Arjun Mangloka, with us, who's going to talk us through the race. So this horse was drawn 11, and it was a very unfriendly draw. But still, the horse managed to win. What was the strategy? There was no real strategy. When you're drawn wide, you have to save ground. This is Bangalore. If you're traveling wide, you lose your race over there. So I told him to come in and ride his race from there. She's won me back-to-back -back races in the summer. I'm proud of her. And let's see what the further plans are. This is the second win of your ward on this turf here because it was written in copybook style. Last time, six furlongs and again six furlongs. So do you think this uh, horse is fit for six furlongs? Yes, yeah, she's shown she's a six furlong horse. I was initially a bit confused with what distance to run her with. I stretched her out over a longer distance thinking the Akit champion uh, Dubavi blood might get her to stay, but I finally figured out she's good at a sprint and we've capitalized on it. Congratulations, sir. Have a good day. Thank you for